Hey, I'm Ernest Klein, the author of Ready Player One uh, and one of the screenwriters of the upcoming film adaptation of Ready Player One. And in my novel, uh, the protagonist drives a uh, DeLorean, but it's his uh, kind of mashup of his favorite 80s super vehicles. And uh, when I sold the book, I decided to buy a DeLorean and recreate that car, uh, Ecto-88. Uh, and here it is. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? So he takes Doc Brown's time machine and adds Ghostbusters logos to the doors as an homage to Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. And then he also puts an oscillation overthruster in the car from Buckaroo Banzai so he can travel through solid matter as well as time. And then he has a kit scanner to the front as an homage to the Night Industries 2000 kit from Knight Rider. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T for easy reference. Well, these computer things are just a waste of time anyway. So I'll show you what I did. This is like me being crafty. So this is the original uh, bumper that you see on a DeLorean and it's actually just made of rubber and it kind of pops on and off. So I ordered a second one and I, what I ended up doing is uh, getting a handsaw and uh, <laughs> cutting these pieces out of, out of it to make room. And then I added the kit scanner, which is how it appears in the Ready Player One movie. We have created a device called an oscillation overthruster. Uh, you can see it's got an oscillation overthruster and a flex capacitor. I've also got a uh, Ghostbusters light bar uh, on the back so that I can uh, clear traffic when I'm on my way to a, a job. You have to actually be careful driving it on the highway. You have people trying to take pictures of it while they're driving, so they're trying to hold the steering wheel and get a photo at the same time. So it creates a distortion field of bad driving around it. So it's not a, it's not a safe car to drive. Usually I keep it hidden. That ain't no airplane. Look! I've got a uh, screen accurate proton pack. I had to get rid of my spare tire to make room for it. Just so I can pop my trunk and uh, bring down a class five full roaming vapor whenever I need to. Uh, and I will show you that uh, when I first went to met, meet Steven Spielberg, I took, I unscrewed this from the car, my glove box lid, and took it to meet him and asked him to sign it for me. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Steven Spielberg it was also signed by Ty Sheridan, who plays Wade Watts in the movie, and Rick Carter, uh, the production designer of Back to the Future, who happened to be hanging out at Amblin. When I um, had Steven sign that, I asked him if he had ever signed another uh, DeLorean in his life and he said no. It's the only DeLorean he'd ever autographed. So you're looking at the only Steven Spielberg autographed DeLorean in the world, gang. That's pretty much Ecto-88. It's uh, like my traveling 80s nerdmobile.